what's up? It's Valencia Cardoso from Socially Conscious Arabia, and I'm here with Tatiana, co-founder of Goombook. Welcome, Tatiana. Hi, Valencia. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. So let's get right into it. Yes. Uh, what exactly is Goombook? Goombook is a platform that is dedicated to environmentally conscious people. So basically, when you feel a responsibility towards the planet, and you live in the Middle East, we want you to tap into Goombook and search for whatever is of your interest. And the word Goom, it's a pretty important word to you. It is, it is. We, we didn't want to give the website a typical name referring to green or eco. We want something unique and so we were looking into something belonging to the region. Because we cover the whole Middle East from North Africa down to the Gulf region, we wanted something that was around this area and we thought of the Bedouins. So searching the Bedouin life, we found out about the Goom, the, the family, the tribe that was going around and traveling around the, the whole um, area. And uh, we loved the name Goom, the, the meaning of a tribe, of getting together, living together accordingly to uh, saving resources and, and, and living as a community. So our idea is to be able to create a green community in the region. That's amazing. That's really cool. But going back to the start, um, what inspired you to actually begin Goombook? Um, we were inspired by the fact that reading the newspapers, you had a lot of news about bad effects on the environment. Uh, pollution, plastic bags around the desert, uh, sewage dumps in the sea. And, but you could see people wanted an answer especially in newspapers such as Seven Days, the community was asking for answers, especially on recycling. Mm -hmm. So we thought, let's put together some information to help people go green and create a small group and uh, community and then give them information on products, on companies, and then maybe go to businesses and, and grow in that sense. So it just started as a, as a community uh, initiative. And... Um when you launched it, what sort of feedback have you started to receive now? Um, it was quite an amazing uh, reaction, especially we were, not, we were not expecting businesses to be interested. Because we started as a community, a residential community initiative, it was nice to see companies coming forward and getting listed in our green directory. Um, in just a month, we had like 300 companies wow. um, from different sizes, startups, and, but also me medium and, and big companies. Uh, we were invited by recycling companies to go and visit their plants. We saw how they were sorting. So for, for us, it was very good also to then tell people, listen, it is true. Nothing is dumped into the desert. There are companies that are responsible and do what they claim. Wow, um, that's really cool. But... Last year in November, you started a, an event uh, called Future Green. Yes. Uh, do you want to expand on that event? Yes. The event, basically, we realized that the website was not enough. People wanted to touch <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and see the products. So we had the idea to create um, an event that the slogan was, Make your future green today. So come, meet the companies, so you don't have always to trust what we say. You can yourself uh, meet with them try the products, uh, and then maybe get involved into this green movement. The idea was to support also the companies, because sometimes it's hard, especially as startups, to start a green venture in the region. Uh, so both, it was meet companies, meet businesses, a B2B and B2C event. And it went very well. So this year, we're taking on the second um, year, again, 1st of November, we'll have uh, another event, and this time in a mall. So we hope to meet more people and make people more aware of what's going on. A anything new that you're, you're doing on this event? Uh, this time I think we're going to really, really focus on water mm -hmm. and, um, and waste. We want people to really start recycling and, and, and consuming less, less water. Water is a, an emergency in this region and people should be aware. And you have technologies that can help you now, preserving water and, and also transforming the humidity of the air into water for your uh, everyday usage. So at home, at work, it's fantastic and people don't know about it. I feel like I'm getting an education right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your latest initiative, Give a Gaff. Yes. 
Give a Gaff is another initiative very dear for Gumbok. Um, it's about planting trees in the Middle East, in the UAE. Uh, this year is the UN Year of the Forest. Uh, the focus is about planting trees, conserving forests, conserving natural resources. Um, trees are very important also for the ecosystem and for water resources as well. Right. And in the region, people think here there's no need to plant trees, it's a desert. But actually, no. In the desert, you have a lot of indigenous trees that need to be preserved. Unfortunately, due to construction and desertification, these trees are not really capable to survive sometimes right. due to our, all our invasion. So we want people to be aware of their natural habitats and the fact that they can finally plant here. So this initiative uh, is focused, has an edu educational focus. We want people also to come and see the trees they've planted. Uh, or come and plant themselves. So is that how it works? Like people just donate and then they... Basically, you can donate on our website. You can buy a tree or a hundred trees, depending on, on your passion for the environment. Um, and then if you want to follow up, we can send you emails and we can organize for you a visit. You can come with your family. You can come with your friends. Or now we're starting doing um, going into malls or public spaces and asking for people to donate as well. Because and what sort of impact has that had? Last event was in the Dubai Mall, and it was fantastic. We planted 400 trees. Wow. And uh, the most beautiful thing was the story people, UA National especially, will tell you about the tree, because we decided to plant the Gaff tree. It's a national tree for the UAE. Um, a fantastic, fantastic tree that goes down 60 meters just to search for water, and needs very little water, evergreen, and has fantastic properties. Um, medicinal properties as well and so the, the UAE nationals would come and say my grandmother used to pick the leaves and make a special salad or my mother used to mash the leaves and create a base that would cure snake bites or scorpion wow. bites or if you actually burn some part of the tree the smoke helps reduce bronchitis or asthma things that are amazing and I, I, I'm sorry I didn't have a camera to actually <laughs> record each story. all this yeah and this is actually the next idea I wanted to uh, there this. you go you yeah. just came up with an idea um, <laughs> so moving forward and looking forward uh, where do you see Goombook evolving I see Goombook tapping in in, in in all the community and in all the society we don't want Goombook to be only for consumers or only for businesses the aim is really to be a platform for everybody to meet either if they need to create business opportunities they need they're looking for investments or they need information or just they want to feel as a community and sometimes it's like a shame to say that you're environmentally conscious because maybe you think how oh, people think it's boring or but actually no and the more you talk to people the more they want to change and do a change especially for their children it's amazing how you would talk to parents and they will tell you that they're scared to leave in 30 years their children with maybe no water and no food that's amazing um, and where can people find you you just have to go online and go for www.goombook.com it's g-o-u-m book.com but even if you type any goom, you'll find us. <laughs> cool. And on that note, thank you so much, Tatiana, for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Anytime.